Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Across the globe, most people can agree that spiders are critters they want nothing to do with. A fear of spiders, otherwise known as arachnophobia, is one of the most widespread fears people have, and there's a good reason for it. Most of our fears don't stem from irrational places. They come from evolving on a dangerous planet. Even though most spiders are harmless to humans, there are several species capable of killing you with a bite or two. However, we could say that spiders do get a bad rap in the animal kingdom, often described as creepy, chilling, and even frightening. Their image is not enhanced by their hairy legs, multiple eyes, and venom-dripping fangs. And this is why they're a staple of campy horror films and Halloween decor. However, the single most terrorizing one is the giant huntsman spider. And this is the largest spider on our planet by leg span, which can reach up to a foot. And this is the stuff of absolute nightmares. So today we're going to take you on a journey to learn more about this eight-legged earth dweller. But before we get into that, let's take a look at what spiders used to be as compared to today. And let's go. The Monstrous Ancestors. If we take a quick trip down the history lane, we get to know that spiders have existed for millions of years. Nowadays, the spiders are no bigger than a foot in size, but back in the olden times, the biggest spiders were about the size of a human being. Yeah, you heard that right. The spiders in the Jurassic period were about six to seven feet high, with a leg span of more than 15 feet. But as the time progressed and evolution played its role, spiders kept on shrinking in size better to adapt to their environment. As a result, the biggest spiders ever in human history come down to about the size of two feet in leg span. And as time has progressed, we come to our biggest spider in the world currently that can have a leg span of around a foot. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that will take just five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Say hello to your next nightmare. Huntsman spiders are large, fast spiders distributed in warm climates throughout the world. They are notable for the way that they catch their prey. Huntsman spiders don't build webs to catch prey, explained entomologist Christy Bills, invertebrate collections manager at the Natural History Museum of Utah. Rather, they hunt down their prey, a habit that gives them their common name. There are thousands of subspecies in this family called Sporacity. The average huntsman spider species is about one inch long with a leg span of up to five inches. The giant huntsman spider, however, has the leg span of 12 inches making it the largest spider by diameter, and is often described as being the size of a dinner plate. Peter Jaeger, head of the arachnology department in the Sechtenberg Research Institute in Frankfurt, Germany, discovered the giant huntsman in a cave in Laos in 2001. According to the Wildlife Fund for Nature, only a few people in the world have seen this behemoth arachnid. On a side note though, the largest spider by weight is probably the Goliath bird eater tarantula, according to the Conservation Institute. Okay, so now let's talk about the appearance. Because of their size, huntsman spiders are sometimes incorrectly identified as tarantulas. One way to tell a huntsman from a tarantula is by the position of the creature's legs. Most spiders' legs bend vertically under the body. Huntsman spiders usually have legs that are splayed out to the sides, crab-like, said Bills. In fact, Huntsman spiders are also referred to as giant crab spiders. Huntsman spiders' legs have twisted joints, which allow for the appendages to extend forward like a crab. Their alignment allows them to move side to side, further explaining the crab-like nickname. Males have longer legs, although females have larger bodies. Colors and patterns vary, Bill says. The spider's legs are typically gray or brown and banded. Many huntsman species' bodies have a flattened appearance, ideal for squeezing into tight spaces, according to the Australian Museum. So where do you find the huntsman? Huntsman spiders are found in Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, and the Mediterranean, Florida, Hawaii, and possibly many of the other tropical and semi-tropical regions. Adult huntsman spiders do not build webs, however. They hunt and forage for food. Huntsman spiders are found living under loose bark on trees, 
in crevices on rock walls and in logs, under rocks and slabs of bark on the ground and on foliage. Dozens of the social huntsman species, Delina cancerids, can be seen sitting together under bark on dead trees and stumps. However, they can also be found on the ground and under rocks and bark slabs. Badge huntsman spiders are often found on foliage. However, some woodland species are burrow builders, with and without trap doors. Huntsman spiders, of many species, enter houses. Hunter spiders are also notorious for entering cars and being found hidden under sun visors or running across the dashboard. Let's talk about their habits. Entomologist Christy Bills, Invertebrate Collections Manager at the Natural History Museum of Utah, says that they can often be quite large and very quick. In fact, the huntsman spider can move up to a yard, almost a meter, per second, she said. Spiders typically live under loose bark on trees, under rocks, in crevices, and under foliage. Huntsman spiders, especially Australian species, are notorious for entering houses and cars. According to the Australian Museum, they have been found hidden under sun visors or running across people's dashboards. These spiders can be social and dozens will sometimes sit together on dead trees or stumps. The huntsman runs after or ambushes their prey, killing it with venom from its strong mouth parts. The Texas Invasive Species Institute pointed out the huntsman can be a valuable spider because it eats cockroaches in addition to other spiders and insects. According to the Australian Reptile Park, the huntsman bite can be painful to humans, but it doesn't cause anything more serious than mild nausea or headaches. Usually localized swelling and pain are the only symptoms. Huntsman Spider Venom In general, huntsman spiders are not regarded as dangerous and can be considered beneficial because they feed on insects. Many Australians will relocate huntsman spiders to the garden rather than kill them. However, huntsman spiders give bites that cause prolonged pain inflammation, headache, vomiting, and irregular pulse rates. However, a scientific study into the bite of these spiders did not note any severe or unusual symptoms resulting from the confirmed bites. It is unclear under what circumstances these spiders will bite people. However, it is known that female members of this family will aggressively defend against perceived threats to their egg sacs and their young. How soon can they take over the planet? Let's see how quickly they reproduce. Males of Heteropoda venatoria, one of the huntsman spiders, have been recently found to deliberately make a sound when they are given a reason to believe that a female of the species is close by. These spiders have a lengthy courtship, and the males are rarely attacked after mating, unlike some other species of spiders. In fact, many huntsman spiders live peacefully together in large colonies. The female huntsman produces a flat, oval egg sac with white papery silk and lays up to 200 eggs. She then places it under a rock or bark and stands guard over it, without eating, for three weeks. During this period, the female can be quite aggressive and will rear up in a defensive display if provoked. Some species will even carry their egg sac under their bodies while moving about. The Lena females lay a ground sheet of silk upon which their egg sacs is anchored while the eggs are laid into it. They will then complete her egg sac and pick it up, leaving the silk ground sheet behind. Incubation periods vary and probably influenced by climate conditions. In some cases, the female may moisten and tear the egg sac open, helping her spiderlings to emerge. The mother stays with them for several weeks. Young huntsman spiders are pale, with the young of the Neosporasis often being green in color. They undergo several molts while still with their mother, hardening to a darker brown and eventually disperse. Huntsman spiders, like all spiders, molt in order to grow, and often their old skin may be mistaken for the original spider, when seen suspended on bark or in the house. The lifespan of most huntsman species is about two years or more. How common are they? If you're from Australia, you might have one living in your house. For the rest of you, you can take a chill pill. They're not as common as they are here as they are in Australia. However, there have been instances that will put you in utter shock that people get into these see these monsters in the most unexpected places. For example, a man named Jake Gray from Australia, well of course, recently caught the eye of fellow social media people when he shared his picture of a giant spider crawling up his home walls. 
He later revealed that he's been sharing his house with this spider for over a year now, and he's watched it grow over 8 inches in diameter. In another recent incident from Australia, a plumber who felt tickling in his ear while he was using a pair of noise-canceling headphones discovered a large huntsman spider tucked inside the soft padding of the device. I'm pretty sure that's going to have you checking your headphones every time you put them on from now on. And yet, in another incident from Australia, a pregnant huntsman spider girl became a resident of a set of traffic lights. Tradesman Joel Hogan took pictures and shared it on Instagram that shows the bloated spider clinging to the wiring of the traffic lights and most likely holding her aid sack underneath her body to protect her young ones. Can it kill you? Well, isn't this the question everyone's wondering about? Good news, no it cannot. Let us tell you why. You see, scientists have conducted a lot of research and came to the conclusion that there is no spider on the planet that can kill a human being, unless the person is allergic to some specific venom that is. In the case of the giant huntsman spider, they certainly are venomous creatures, but there has not been a single recorded incident in history where a spider was able to kill a person. And no, spiders will not attack you out of the blue either, like some movies will show us. They usually only retaliate to humans in defense, and that is when most people have ended up getting bitten by a spider. Hey, thank you so much for watching today's video. We hope that you enjoyed it, and please stay tuned for some more great content.